Hey, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Automated jingle creation and radio DJ? Come on, clickbait, too good to be true. Or too good to not try. Haha, <laughs> those are the answers we're gonna be exploring today. I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and I may have stumbled upon a way to keep your on-air elements, your jingles and sweepers sounding really fresh while keeping your workload really low. Let's check it out. We are on the air. Years ago, when I was rocking the airwaves on this crazy medium called radio, I had a program director who said, you know, the station is only as good as the imaging. And what did I know back then? I had a mullet, and we were playing 80s music. So sure, if he said it, it might have been true. So before even launching my little rinky-dink 80s station, producing quality imaging elements was job number one. Uh, jingles, sweepers, liners, they... Had to be fun, had to be upbeat, they had to be 80s themed. As you can see, there's probably over 150, 200 elements, and that is seriously time consuming. Finding all the right work parts, putting them together in Adobe Edition, mixing, mastering, you get it. Tons of time. So I wondered if there was a way to kind of automate a lot of this process dynamically within Radio DJ. For example, I have these quick movie sweepers. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Triple X 80s. Oh, no more Yankee, my Winky. Triple X 80s. That was two sweepers back to back. So what you heard in there was like a movie drop, some production elements, a sweeper sound effects, music bed, and then the station ID. And if you take a look, I've already produced like 22 of these individually. Once again, lots of work, bundles of time, needed a better way. So I think I found a better way. So now take a listen to my Frankenstein <laughs> duct taped together solution for creating custom, almost dynamically changing jingles. I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Extreme 80s fun. Triple X 80s. So as you saw, a lot of things were happening there, and we'll get into the individual parts in a second, but here's one more example. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. 80s to the extreme. Triple X. 80s. So let's dig into the actual parts on how all this comes together. It, it starts off with a opener, and this is what that looks like. It's just a production element, like a music effect-laden stinger. With the bed. So you heard that, and you see the start cue, and then the next start will trigger the next element, which just so happens to be programmed uh, on the other tab where the start event. So after this track is triggered, It'll then fire off the Quick Sweeper Movies event, which we'll get into in one second. So that's the first element. And I have two different opening, kind of like stinger elements, just for variety. Here's the second one. And this one also has a start event set to Quick Sweeper Movies, which we'll get to that in a minute. So there's four crazy elements to this thing. There's the one opening, stager, music bed which then triggers the 80s movie drop, which is in this directory here, movie sweeper drops. Uh, for example, here's a raw one from Breakfast Club. So it's sort of social, demented and sad, but social, right? So after that's triggered, then the station slogan element is popped off, which you see here, quick sweeper slogan. And I have three different uh, these produced elements. 80s to the extreme. So just the slogan, and there's three different slogans in this directory. Totally awesome radio. And that one kind of had a cool arcade sound effect, as does this one. Extreme 80s fun. So once again, uh, voiceover with the station slogan. And this is what it looks like. It fires off, and then right here at the next start, that will then trigger the actual station ID, the name of the station. Extreme 80s fun. Boom, right there. 
that triggers a voice track, which is the Quick Sweeper ID. And I have, once again, three different varieties of these to kind of keep it fresh. Triple X 80s. Triple X 80s. Triple X 80s. And then this uh, will trigger the neck, the song, basically, after that. So the cool thing here, these four elements each have more than just one work part in the directory or folder. So right here we have, like you just heard, two different opening uh, music beds. Hasta la vista, baby. Extreme 80s fun. Triple X 80s. So every time this, the quick sweeper 80s jingle runs, it'll be something brand new and fresh. Bottom line, yeah, you're thinking, but you still have to produce all these. Yeah, but I only had to produce them once, where my other quick movie sweepers, each one of these was a separate production, and that took a lot of time. So now all I really have to do to keep this sounding unique and cool and fresh is just drop movie drop-ins, the movie clips into this folder. Uh, and that's really enough to keep this production element sounding different every time it runs. The real magic of this uh, jingle is the back end, the event that's triggered once that first production element fires off. It triggers a quick sweeper movies event, which then fires in succession the movie drop-in, the station slogan, and the station ID. Let's show you how to create your own. Now, bottom line here, I, I get it. Uh, there's a lot of advanced radio DJ users just shaking their head saying, this is a waste of time. I've done this with one piece of SQL code. Super simple. Well, I'm not that advanced, so I'm the, the duct tape medium level radio DJ user. Sure, there probably is a more simple way, and I'd love to hear about it. Please share that simple way in the comments. But until then, this is a way that works very well for me. It needs to be a manual event. And then we start building the event actions. And remember, with these events, because playlists are loading from the top, you want to do it in reverse order. So think about what's the last element that needs to hit. And the last element that needs to hit is the station ID, which we're loading it from the category, which is voice track, quick sweeper ID. That's the cool thing, loading from the category if you have a bunch of elements in that category, it'll just cycle through least recently played, which really helps keep everything sound and uh, brand new. Okay, so that's where we're ending up. The next piece of the audio puzzle is the station ID element, the slogan element, which is right here. Quick sweeper slogan, so it, it will pull an audio file from that subcategory. We'll add that action. And then, really, the first action in this event is the movie sweeper, which is down in drops, which I have movie drops for the sweeper category. Add the action. Boom. There it is. There's the event. So the first piece of production fires off. Then the movie sweeper, the slogan, the ID. Movie jingle two. Let's test this out. And I will temporarily edit this to change the event just to show you that it actually works and I'm not too full of crap. Movie Jingle 2, save it, cue it up, boom. Oh, 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 that's so disgusting. Oh my God, that's the worst thing I ever heard in my life. Extreme 80s fun, triple X 80s. <laughs> Couldn't end this video on a more appropriate soundbite. Thank you, Woody Allen. So you're gonna give this a spin? I mean, for me, it really checks the box under working smarter, not harder. Sure, there's a little initial workload of creating the different elements, your slogan, your position, or your ID. But once you have those in place, the options are really unlimited. There's so many different ways you can deploy this to keep your production elements sounding fresh on the air. So give it a spin. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and I really appreciate your time. Make sure to hit subscribe because you never know when I make it a wild hair and flip on the camera and drop another video. Oh, and if you really are having a hankering, 
for some 80s music and cheesy 80s DJs. Well, come on. There's only one source for that. TripleX80s.com. We're talking about extreme 80s fun. And to prove it, see, that, that was my mullet I was talking about. This wasn't fake mullet news. I really was uh, an 80s DJ. Appreciate your time. And keep on rocking mics around the world. <laughs> 